past month, a new AI chatbot called ChatGPT has been drawing a lot of attention. So Google, the most powerful company in the world, is reportedly developing an artificially intelligent machine. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. You may have heard about this new thing called artificial intelligence. It's kind of blowing up lately. AI is a critical technological pillar in the future that Elon Musk is trying to build with Tesla and autonomous vehicles. Because you can't just flip a switch and make a car self-driving. Elon found that out the hard way after his promise of a million robo-taxis by 2020 crashed and burned like a SpaceX Starship prototype. Instead, you have to literally teach a car how to drive itself, and that relies on a very complex process often referred to as neural net training or machine learning. This is where Tesla's mysterious Dojo supercomputer enters the game. Because if you're going to teach an AI neural network to master a really complex and wide-reaching task like driving a car, then you are going to need a massive amount of computing power to process data coming in from millions of cars driving billions of miles, and then feed that all into an artificial intelligence model week after week and month after month. So Tesla is secretly building a high-powered AI supercomputer. Let's talk about what that means for the company and what effect Dojo might have on the coming AI revolution. Let's first try and figure out what we mean when we say neural network training. What is going on there? So the brain of an artificial intelligence is just a huge network of calculations. We refer to each calculation as a neuron to ground the concept in something more familiar. Neurons in AI are inspired by the neurons in the human brain, which are responsible for transmitting and processing information for thought and movement. Any information that you put into a neural network passes through a series of these neurons. Each one performs a simple calculation on the input and then sends it off to the next appropriate neuron for further analysis before finally arriving at the output. The path that an input takes through the network is going to be determined by weights and biases that are assigned to each neuron. The weights determine the strength of the connection between those neurons. So imagine your self-driving Tesla is cruising down the highway and a big animal, like a moose, runs into the road. You want the neurons for moose detection to have a strong connection to the neurons for emergency braking and obstacle avoidance, right? If your neural network is trained properly, then any given input should result in an expected output. Like, the car sees a red light and it applies the brakes and stops at the line. If the car does something unexpected when it sees the red light, like floor the accelerator, then that would be considered an error. And in that case, the margin of error would be particularly big. Training a neural net is all about reducing that margin of error between what you expect the car to do and what it actually does. So every time that your car makes a particular mistake and tries to kill you, Tesla needs to take that example and use the result to adjust the weights and biases of those associated neurons. And then you get to try again and see what happens with the hope that the margin for error will be reduced. This is a process called backpropagation, and the only way to properly train the AI for this kind of real-world situation is to just keep repeating the input and adjusting the weights and adding biases until the margin for error falls below a certain threshold. So, whenever you see video of a self-driving Tesla randomly deciding to kamikaze itself into a concrete pillar, you're seeing the result of an input being sent through the wrong path of neurons and coming out as an error. And that's caused by an improper combination of weights and biases. Instead of the signal being fed through the neurons for drive straight, it ended up being output from the neurons for hard left turn. Now, try and imagine the size of the neural network required to support a self-driving car. Every possible action requires its own string of neurons. Trillions of potential calculations. So every time that Tesla wants to retrain the neural network with new data in hopes of further reducing error, they need to push that data through the entire neural network and recalculate the weights and biases for each of those neurons. 
given that Tesla releases a new update of their FSD beta program every couple of weeks, they are likely retraining the network on a weekly basis. And that training process requires a massive amount of computing power, enough to run billions and trillions of parallel calculations every second. A term often assigned to these calculations is floating point operations per second, or FLOPs. The top tier of modern supercomputers have just recently cracked the exaflop scale, which would equal one quintillion operations per second. So the more computing power that Tesla has access to, the faster they can retrain and iterate on their FSD software, and the sooner they reach the end goal of a fully autonomous car that doesn't even require human supervision. But until that point, every time the human supervisor has to intervene and stop the vehicle from making a mistake, which is still fairly often, that's more data that needs to be fed into the algorithm. And as more people buy Teslas, 1.3 million sold in 2022, and buy full self-driving and use FSD, the higher the volume of data will be. And the larger the amount of data, the more computing power is required just to keep up with the current rate of iteration. So, in order for Tesla to accomplish their goal of making every vehicle fully autonomous and flooding the streets with robo-taxi cabs, they need a massively complex and well-trained AI neural network running the show. And that can only be accomplished with an equally massively powerful computer putting in the work behind the scenes. Enter Dojo. So, this is the theory behind Tesla's Dojo product development. It's par for the course at Tesla and every other Elon Musk company to vertically integrate their process as much as possible. That means that instead of buying a product from someone else, you invent and produce your own, bespoke version of that product. If you want something done right, you just gotta do it yourself sometimes. So in the age of AI where supercomputers are now critical infrastructure, Tesla doesn't want to be reliant on a company like Nvidia to supply their computer. They want to vertically integrate. And that's how we end up with Dojo, by far Tesla's most esoteric and unknowable product. Like, even those of us who are not professional engineers can still look at something like an electric car or a battery or even a humanoid robot and have a pretty solid understanding and appreciation for how it works and what it's doing. But Dojo is just on a whole other level. So it's not as important to talk about how Dojo works or what exactly it's doing as it is to appreciate why this is important and why Tesla is doing this. The number one advantage presented by Dojo is the savings in power consumption and hardware cost. So right now, Tesla is using a massive cluster of Nvidia's top tier GPU, the A100. According to an update as of August 2022, Tesla had accumulated 7,360 A100 chips with 80 gigabytes of memory each. That would equal out to the seventh most powerful known supercomputer in the world at the time. By optimizing Dojo for their specific need of neural network training, Tesla is claiming that they can replace five full cabinets of NVIDIA GPUs with one single Dojo cabinet. And that's the big story here. It's not so much about the computing power of Dojo, it's the scalability. If money and energy and resources were unlimited, then you could just fill an entire warehouse with GPU racks and have as much computing power as your heart desires. But unfortunately, we don't live in a world of unlimited resources, and that puts a higher value on efficiency, making the best use of what we do have available. So, as we progress through 2023, it's likely that instead of continuing to just buy more and more NVIDIA GPUs, Tesla will start to phase in their own Dojo tiles, which is going to allow them to continue increasing their available computer power at a very high rate, while seeing a reduced increase to their cost and power consumption at the same time. What's really interesting to think about is that Dojo is a representation of where Tesla is going in the future with artificial intelligence, not an illustration of where they are right now. So Elon Musk actually said on Twitter in 2020 and on a company earnings call last year that Dojo is not even necessary to achieving Tesla's short-term goals. 
He told investors specifically, quote, Dojo is not needed for full self-driving, but it is a cost optimization on creating vast amounts of video data, also a rate of improvement. If you can train models faster, have a shorter iteration interval, then you can make progress faster, end quote. So if Tesla doesn't need Dojo to accomplish their goal of a fully autonomous vehicle, then why are they even building it? Why make this a primary focus of their AI Day event two years in a row? Well, I would say that it is a pretty clear sign that Tesla does not consider level five autonomy to be a finish line for their AI development. That's just a significant milestone that they will reach on a much longer journey into automation and machine learning. Obviously, the Tesla bot is a big part of that. As complicated as it has proven to teach a robot how to drive like a human, just try and imagine the size of the neural network required for a robot to function alongside humans in day-to-day -day life, navigate the world, understand language, learn new jobs. It makes robotaxi seem basic by comparison. So that's the big show that Tesla is gearing up for. They know that compute is going to become one of the most valuable resources in the modern world. Companies will be perpetually chasing more and more computing power to fuel greater improvements to their AI networks. But the trick is to get there in a way that doesn't overextend our supply of energy and chip making resources to the point where we just hit a brick wall and lose the ability to progress further. So Dojo is Tesla's answer to a very big existential problem. And that could actually, in the long run, make this the most valuable product that they own. Where do you think the AI revolution will take us in the years to come? How long until driverless cars become a regular part of daily life? Drop your theories down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.